So keep in mind it is 6 a.m. So obviously it's going to be fairly slow, fairly empty. All of this will open up during the day. But this is beautiful Patong Beach, Thailand. Uh, it is officially the 10th. See that? Check my watch. Yeah. It's officially the 10th on uh, the 10th at 6 a.m. in sun uh, in Thailand. That's going to make it, uh, I believe, somewhere around midday Sunday in America. Getting through the airport yesterday was not terrible. Uh, I would a few things that I would suggest that we ran into. If you get your PCR test done just before you get on your plane, or if you have to take like one of the uh, rapid responses, like we did, we took an urgent. Uh, test uh, the day before we went on the airplane because we weren't sure that our 72 hour one was going to make it. Our 72 hour test came in like literally an hour before our flight. So at 5 a.m. before our flight, we decided to go take an urgent 30 minute rapid response RT PCR. But what that also meant is that we didn't really have a chance to print it out. And that's where our trouble came in. When you arrive at Phuket Airport, you're going to be directed to sit down in the seating area and they're going to ask you to prepare all of your paperwork so that they can check you. The four things that they're going to ask for is going to be your Thailand pass, your passport, your boarding ticket, and your customs form, which they will give you either on the plane or when you get to the door, uh, just before you get off the plane, they'll have them for you. But basically, it's a small card. You got to fill out the information twice, once on the left, once on the right, because they're going to rip it off and uh, send it back to you. But it's going to have things like your itinerary, what flight you came in on, what uh, hotel you're staying at, all of your information. Um, and those are going to be the four items that you need in order to proceed past that checkpoint. That checkpoint is not going to be anything uh, for your, our, your PCR test at the airport. That is strictly just to get you in line to go through customs. So if you don't have the ability to print out your PCR test results, they will allow you to, uh, they have a little station set up where the girl will print your stuff for you so that you have a physical copy to get past that checkpoint. But this is where we got held up. If you have your printout, you get to go in one line and you're ready to go. And that entire line was processed before we even started processing people who didn't have a printed out. It was about a 50-50, maybe, maybe, maybe a little less, maybe about 40% of the people were like us and did not have their PCR test printed out. Uh, what that meant is that you had to wait in a separate queue to get your stuff printed out. You had to email it immediately. So if you don't have a way, I mean, there is airport Wi-Fi, but you know how that can go. You're also jumping on an unsecured network, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, thankfully, we have a global plan, so I was able to, you know, just not have to worry about the Wi-Fi and, and we just uploaded. But you basically have to have access to the document digitally and be able to email it to them so that they can print it out. There is no way to just like transfer it, you know, from computer to computer or USB or anything like that. You just basically have to email it to them. And when we emailed it, it didn't work the first two times. Uh, for whatever reason, our phones were trying to send a link from Dropbox which obviously wouldn't work because they're going to have to log into Dropbox and all that stuff. So you had to send the raw file printable to the email. Uh, if you're having trouble on your phone, the best way to do it is to actually go to your email system, whether it be Hotmail or Gmail or whatever, open up your app from there and attach the file from your downloads, your documents, wherever you actually stored it at when you got it out of your email. You know, store it to your drive in your documents folder, attach it as a file, when you email it. That's what works for us. That came through, they printed it out. We were actually the last people. We were at the front, of, almost the front of the line. I was prepared when we got off the plane and we ended up being one of the last people out of the queue to be able to get into immigration uh, just because we couldn't get the file to attach properly. Again, that was Verizon Wireless, Android, you know, Note 20 and a, and a Fold uh, that we're having difficulty with. But we got through that. Once we got through that, everything else was pretty smooth. You go through immigration, standard passport check, fingerprints, picture, declarations, you know, whatever you have to do if you have stuff to declare or you don't, you pick your line. Uh, once we got through declarations, and I'm sorry I didn't get a pictures on a lot of this stuff. We were moving, we were busy. It was after 30 hours of flying and a lot of the stuff probably, I don't know if it could be filmed anyways. So, and I wasn't gonna ask people if I could film them. So, um, there's a the good old wifey, say hi. 
Um, yeah, so basically once we got through that, that's when you have to take your PCR test before you can get into your ride uh, to your hotel. Uh, there's gonna be a bank of people. He's gonna ask you for your Thailand pass. He's gonna ask you for your, um, your passport. And he's gonna ask you for the receipt. Uh, if you printed it in color, it's gonna be the receipt that's for Phuket International Airport. It's got like a blue and green color to the left-hand side of it. That's what they're gonna need. And then after that's all cleared, they will give you a barcode and a, and a, a vial for you to then go over to the testing area where there will be some people standing in booths looking like aliens with their hands hanging out the booth like uh yeah like they're on the wrong side of quarantine but basically yeah you're the petri dish and they're on the outside of the scientific box with the gloves and all that stuff so they cannot make physical contact with you the testers at the airport it's not physical for them to make contact with you they are in a uh, a booth with their arms sticking through long extrusical gloves. They don't touch anything inside the booth. Everything's outside the booth. They swab you, they put it into a vial, and then they give you a barcode, and you then go and have to get your ride from the airport. After your ride from the airport, uh, or you'll have to have your ride already provided. And again, make sure you have your stuff printed out. Um, print everything, guys. Anything that you can print, print it out. Um, that's, that's my big recommendation for your trip. If you can make it, we know at this point in time, they're only doing sandbox. Uh, we got in on the last day. Every made, everyone who checked my paperwork made a comment about my paperwork because we set it up in December. I had a quarantine free option, which means we could actually leave right now on day two and we could go to Bangkok, we could go to Chiang Mai, we could go anywhere in Thailand because I have an unquarantine free pass before they made all these changes. We set this up back in December. If you're setting it up today, uh, you can only, as of right now, until they bring it, and I think they just indefinitely suspended the program, but today was the last day to even try to apply for the Phuket Sandbox. Um, Phuket Sandbox might be the only sandbox that's actually still available. Um, and what I understand is that is means you basically can only stay in Phuket. Um, you have to do all the same PCR tests and everything like that. You have to quarantine and everything. And then you can only stay in Phuket. There is no going to Chiang Mai. There is no going to Bangkok. That's it, your sandbox to Phuket, which is not bad. Um, past that, once you actually, you have your ride, you'll come out of the airport. They have a big station set up with your name written on a piece of paper. They'll ask you what hotel you're staying at, and that will direct you to a booth, which you should be able to find your name and your driver. Uh, they'll pull up a driver for you and he'll take you to your hotel. Once we got to our hotel, it was a little interesting because we had issue with our Morchana app. If you have the Morchana app like you should, you should probably delete it and reinstall it upon arrival. That was one of the things that seemed to fix our problem, but I don't know if it's because my QR code was from December or what the deal was. I don't know if everybody has this issue, but essentially when we got to our hotel, everything was fine. Our hotel had our reservations. They had all of our paperwork. They lined up our second PCR test. But what they couldn't do was get the Morchana app to line up. We were having difficulty getting it to get us off of orange status uh, when we first installed it. I'm not 100% sure what the nice gentleman at the desk did. We stayed at the, at the uh, Palmyra, uh, which is the Palmyra, if you wanna, if you, it's, it's a P-A-L-M-Y-R-A. -A. Uh, very nice people at the front desk. He took very good care of us. It did take about 10 or 15 minutes to actually check in because we were having problems with the Morchana app and also because we were only staying one night at the Palmyra because it was our SHA Plus hotel. Again, make sure you're staying at an SHA Plus hotel for your first night. Uh, and actually, it doesn't even have to be your first night. It's up until you clear your PCR test. We got in our flight about 2 p.m., took all of our tests and everything, and went to our hotel at the Palmyra. We settled in, took our showers, and laid down for a little nap to kind of clear some of the jet lag. And before I woke up from my nap, we had our email it couldn't have been more than five to seven hours that we got our response back from Phuket Airport that we were negative and cleared. At that point in time, we were able to actually see a change on our Morchana app and it went green. Uh, but again, back to when we, when we first came in, uh, the app would not pick up our, our QR codes. It would scan them, but it would say invalid information. And when we punched in all of the information by hand, it still 
was not working. Even punched in the Thailand pass by hand. It's like a 30 character ASCII, you know, it's 6LM, 2M, 2407, you know, some crap like that. Punched it in several times, checked it, couldn't get it to work. What ended up happening is the nice man at the desk ended up taking my wife and mine's phone, erasing the Morchana app, reinstalling the Morchana app, and then using his computer to scan the QR code or something along those lines. It appeared to me in some way, shape or form, the man at the desk looked up our, our Thailand pass. Again, I don't know exactly what he did, but in the end, he ended up scanning his computer to get our passes correct. And when he did all that, everything came up fine. Our Marchana refreshed and it shows up orange as a medium risk because our vaccination hasn't come back yet. At that point, you can go to your hotel room and scan the QR code that they gave you at the airport. And that at that point should refresh your Morchana app and your app should turn green as long as you are negative for COVID-19 or not detected. It either has to be negative or not detected. After that, we were technically clear. Now check your pass, your sandbox. Again, keep in mind, I set this up back in December of 2020 at that point in time the test and go was available that is no longer available you can only do Phuket sandbox so you may or may not be able to leave your hotel room after your your quarantine as far as moving to another hotel you'll be able to go out to the city once you're clear and you've got your vaccination clearance you go to the front desk they will log all the information down, take your room number, your passport, all that stuff to say that they verified that they seen your negative test. You are green and your Marchana app is good. You gotta keep your Marchana app on your phone and your phone with you while you're traveling. This is basically to track you in case you contract or, you're, or someone near you contracts and was in uh, contact with you. Maybe someone on the plane or something like that and so you'll have to get tested again. But for now, we're clear. At that point in time, we actually decided to leave the Palmyra Hotel uh, they were perfectly nice, it's a good spot, but we have a much nicer rooms at the Charm. Uh, we have a pool suite, so we decided we were going to go ahead and go to our pool suite and check in. Um, and and the, we, the reason why I was able to do that is because when I originally booked our hotels, I booked the Charm, which is where we like to stay, it's where we stayed in two years ago. Um, but the Charm at that time was not an SHA Plus hotel. I'm not sure if they're even still an SHA Plus hotel, but so I doubled up. Uh, I got a room at the Charm, and I got a room. Oh, it is so warm! Wow, the <coughs> the sand is cool to the touch. The water is like lukewarm bath water, like crazy warm. But anyways, uh, once you're you know we cleared and we left the Palmyra. We went to the Charm, we checked in with them, you know, same thing, you gotta let them know how long you're staying there and all of your uh, your Thailand Pass info and all that stuff, they'll, they'll take it again. But we were able to move from our SHA Plus hotel to our standard hotel after our results came back from the airport. Good luck to you guys. Again, print everything that you can. If you can find a way that maybe you have a layover or something like that and you have to, and you can find a kiosk to print that PCR test, do it find a way um, it'll save you quite a bit of time at the airport being able to jump that line not waiting to get your PCR test printed because like us many people were in the same position they had taken a test just before getting on the plane and I don't know anybody who has a portable printer so how do you print something that's in your email but they need a physical copy at the airport to go along with all of your paperwork so you must have a printed copy of your PCR test that you took before you got on your flight if not, you can print it at the airport, but you're gonna wait longer. After that, enjoy your stay in beautiful Thailand, guys. Again, Patong Beach. It's one of our favorite places so far. Beautiful beach, completely open this morning. The idea was to catch a sunrise this morning, but then my goodness remembered, oh yeah.